So was there. Happy? Happy, happy. Happy, happy, right. So everybody, I have popped down to Macaulay Trailers, which are literally only a few miles from HQ. This is the boss man, Owen. We seen this at the plowing. Yeah. It looked absolutely mighty. It's sold and it's leaving today. So I wanted to rush down and see it. We have a few exciting grass men projects or a big project underway, but I don't want to say anything about it just yet. Time will tell. But Owen, tell us a little bit about this Bobby Dazzler. This is a new 25 ton capacity dump tiller. It's all built with a hard ox body, 10 mil floor, six mil sides, and hard ox back door. Up and over back door, was running on granning suspension, granning axles. I see the granning axles, is that, you know, not everybody goes for the granning axles, but I see you have them. I, I, I do see when you look outside and there's a world of axles out there, but why did you go for the granning in this particular trailer? For us, we've had very good results with granning. We find granning a very easy company to deal with. Yeah. Uh, and they're very, very good if you have warranty. Why did you decide to do this one? Because I, I, I mean, as you know, the grass men were a big fan of greys and blacks and all, and um, we just think it matches everything. Yeah. What, what made you go down the route of this colour? So we went for the black edition with the matte grey chassis and then the black body, glossy body. As you can see in the side, it says GP25 Black Edition. So I'm actually very proud of the choices they've made. It looks sensational. And uh, you were down at the Irish Plough and it was, it was quite wet now. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, what was the interest like in the trailer? We'll take a wee walk around it here just so people get a hang on the other side. We, we got you to park yeah. one of your more standard sized trailers. Yep. What? The, the, what we got at the Plain Championship it was an unbelievable response by the public. As crowds were down this year in the Plain Championship, but it did give the people that wanted to see the trailer the opportunity to really get into the trailer. And I have to say the results we've got from the Plain is fantastic. The lads are chasing up the inquiries like mad. And so, Macaulay Trailers is 65 years making trailers? Well, 65-ish, exactly more than 65 to be honest. Uh, I own the co I've run the company now for 37 years and I was owned and formed by a man called Clement Macaulay originally. So I took the company over some 37, 38 years ago from Clement and I suppose the rest is history. Clement would be better known for livestock trailers. Yes. We did that and then uh, we moved into the more commercial type trailer uh, with, with obviously building and construction taken off. There's an awful need for both muck and plant to be shifted. So oh, that's absolutely. why we build loaders and dumpers. And it's, look, I suppose w w without being smart, you couldn't have celebrated anything in 2020. Exactly right. <laughs> with, with, the old, with the old COVID, etc. Yep. But yep. So this trailer, just as a reference point, is what? This is our 17 ton dump trailer. 17 ton, okay. What sort of a back door have we going here? That trailer was actually designed from the 12 and 14 ton and a lot of people like the back door because they still can put a money digger into that trailer and it's amazing that a lot of people like the, full, the drop down back door because it's got no resistance to any load they put into it, especially farmers with, with, with roots of trees and things like of that. Of course, I understand. But this is, would be a very popular trailer. But if we, if we dand around the front here, so if we dand around the front here and we sort of look back now, we're getting a, an appreciation of scale because we have both parked exactly the same at the back. Now you've went for rear steer uh, on this trailer here. What tires have you put on it? Because they're very big looking. Yeah, they're 600 by 50, 55s by 26 and a half. So the massive wheel, it actually, a trailer's not a trailer without the proper wheel. They make the trailer. You wouldn't know that trailer over, over ground. Should it be soft ground or hard ground? You just wouldn't know it. And you went for, obviously, as we looking at air over hydraulic? No, we don't do hydraulic on that trailer at all. Just air? Just air. Proper job. We feel that if you want to pull that trailer, you have to pull it with the tractor that's capable and safe enough to accommodate the size the trailer is. And any tractor capable of doing that will not have hydraulic braking facilities. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with you, I think you're right, because I can see you have the, 
the different valves in there to operate. And what suspension system have you went for in that's, here? That's, that's the grilling. It's, it's, a, it's actually it's a 43 ton suspension. Uh, Supply to just we buy the package from Granning. We let them put the package together. We ask them to give us something that's fit for the purpose. And and again, this is why we work with Granning because they're more than capable of doing that and they're very, very good to give us the proper the proper gear. And this trailer's gone. This trailer's gone. Yeah. And we actually caught up, I think, with a, a, a red one earlier on when we were doing a bit of filming around the factory for another project that we're working on, which will be coming soon. And, and that is. You know, we got to look at it then, but it just this one stood out, and, and the opportunity was there to see it just quickly before. What is your main business though now? Because you said there the dollar originally started with cattle trailers away back. You bought the business over, and you're working more in the commercial. You don't just mean agri commercial though. Not at all. No, no. We do a lot of commercial trailers. We build a lot of step frame loaders, anything from a two axle right up to six and seven axle trailers. We do trailers for the uh, construction industry, like the type of Create concrete who supply construction industry with mm -hmm. remote steer axles. Uh, uh, trailers are getting very technical. Uh, if we start to talk about the technicalities of trailers nowadays, me and you'll be here all day. Oh, we'll not. We'll not get into that. But oh, I, I, I many, ma many, a, many, many a Mac trailer. I think that's where the wee change is. I think that the, the mm -hmm. I agree stuff sort of nearly always gets the full Macaulay mm -hmm. trailers, and then when we go into the, <laughs> when we head into the. The commercial lorry stuff, we, 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 we changed to Mac trailers, but many's a Mac trailer of pool. But in the last couple of years, hindered a little bit by COVID, you brought out a new range of step frame. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I say with the issues with COVID, it's really only starting to get ground, grow its legs now, but that's a different trailer that we'll talk a wee bit about in the future. But anyway, I want to thank you for giving us a look round. I know we got some shots. I know viewers love to see big shiny plant. It's all there. Granning Axle is considered one of the top axles on the market, if not the top. As you see, the suspension system, she's a big trailer. The black and the grey just looks absolutely mighty. A very, very, uh, just like to point out, you've an illegal number plate on here. <laughs> Somebody forgot about the numbers. But the, gel, the, the gel. The impression it creates is a lasting one. Um, you know, you have the lights, they're well up out of the way, hopefully hopefully well enough out of the way, as the boy says, that some idiot doesn't. Uh, you know, she'd be dropping some load out of her. Have you considered positive steer for that size of a trailer, or...? Yeah, I, I would, but I'm a big fan of remote steer. Well, that's an absolutely mighty trailer, and uh, we better stop now, because uh, we, we actually asked everyone to stop production for a wee yeah, minute or two correct. to let us have a quick chat, and this man needs to get trailers out, so... We'll be back very, very soon. That's just a wee short video to take let you take a look around this. Lovely.